Greetings Taurus, Taurus Sun, Taurus Rising and Taurus Moon. Welcome to your tarot video scope for October 2018 by AMA. These are general readings. For those of you who would like to book your very own personal consultation with me, please visit my website www.amalightworker.com and email me at amalightworker at gmail.com. Please also always listen for the video for your rising sign and for your moon sign because you are going to get additional information. For the month of October, I am offering to you three Reiki sessions for the discounted price of $150. We are still under the influences of the eclipses. We had a set of eclipses in January, February and another set in July, August. Each eclipse has a tendency to influence your life for at least six months. So we are still under the influences of these eclipses. And for that reason, I thought that it would be beneficial to you to get some Reiki. So I am offering to you for the month of October and October only, three Reiki session for $150. You are going to find all of the information that you need, again, linked down here below in the show more description box. Always remember to like, share, subscribe, and to turn on the notification bell. I have already uploaded a whole new reading for you and for those of you who are interested to know more, the link to the Vimeo videos for download and purchase is linked down here below in the show more description uh, box. So now allow me to focus on this reading for you, uh, Taurus. The general feelings that I am picking up for you have to deal with uh, achievement of a job well done, receiving some good news, something being granted to you or being given the opportunity to move uh, to do something like a permission, a permit, the green light to something uh, could be about an engagement proposal or a love proposals. Uh, making peace and relaxation, enjoying the fruit of your labor, and also contemplating, like thinking about doing something in your mind, like uh, you may have, you could be having some unclarities in your uh, mind. So that was the general feeling. I will now break this down one by one. The first card that you got, Taurus, is Eight of Pentacles. To me, it means, this is the Apprentice card, it means learning a new skill or developing farther any skills or talents that you may have. It also means working more independently, okay, without anybody watching over your shoulders and telling you what to do and pushing you, like do this and do that. So working more independently. Sometimes it also means being self-employed to me. Determination to work hard accepts the situation. Hard work is needed for you at this time to either reach your goal or the wealth that you desire to have. Achievement of a job well done. This is going to be a month where you are going to get a lot of accolades, a lot of compliments. People are going to pay more attention to you. Some of you are going to be working very hard to transform or to make something better. You could be working toward your career, your work, and feeling successful that uh, way and achieving or accomplishing one thing after another. In the hard time of the next eight weeks to eight months, I have a sense that one thing after another, you are going to have, you are going to accumulate a great deal of success that is related to your work or to your business if you happen to have a uh, business. Some of you are going to be 
it feels like you have been in the process of making a little change here and a little change there could be in connection to your health could be in connection to your physical appearance but now in october i have a sense that um a little by little working toward toward these changes now you can notice and now you can see the big change the big uh, shift either your work has been shifting you know uh dramatically positively by now or your looks have been uh transformed positively by now your weight your health um your looks some of you are going to feel that uh, you do a much better job when you work alone. Either for some reason, maybe other people are out of the office and you're going to feel more productive when you do work on your own. But at the same time, I also get the sense that you are going to be analyzing something related to your finances and you are going to go through paper by paper, document by document, um one account after the other one bill after the other you are going to be in the process of looking at something with your analytical skills with your analytical mind and you're going to go over each and every detail this could be in a work related situation you may be doing that in whatever circumstance situation you need to kind of dissect it okay and look into the details and go over each and every uh thing um you may be doing that to a relationship you may be doing uh, uh, maybe it is for some of you in connection to some kind of a work visa that you are trying to get uh travel documents travel arrangements this is showing up for uh you and i also get the sense that for some of you he has to deal with uh whatever finances you need to have together now to put together now because you are thinking about uh expanding your business creating your business moving abroad or some kind of a communication with foreign countries seems to be highlighted for some of you uh, Torians. Some of you could be uh, getting paid for your time, for your advice or for your uh, services. Somebody may be approaching you and they're going to be like, here, I hear you are very good at this. Could you please do this uh, for me and I will pay you uh, for it. The next card that you have is the Ace of uh, Pentacles. Or for those of you who have been, uh, you know, very diligent, working, 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 now you're going to see that you have accumulated a great deal of wealth, material wealth, or uh, money. The Ace of Pentacles, to me, it means a new solid gain, a new friend, new prosperity. Sometimes to me it is an indicator of wealth, but it also means being engaged, some kind of an engagement uh, proposal. So allow me to tune in so I can hear what the spirit has to say about this card, why this card showed up for you. For many of you Torians, congratulations are going to be in order, but for various different reasons. For some of you, people who are congratulating you, it has to deal with some success or some kind of a breakthrough with your romantic life. They are saying that the way they are presenting this information to me, they're saying whether you are single or married and in a couple, okay, uh, there's going to be some, uh, many of you are going to achieve some significant breakthrough okay so they are congratulating you for that so those of you who are singles maybe you are now going to start to attract to you people who are romantically uh interested in you or maybe the breakthrough is you have done your work little by little and now maybe you feel the inner work little by little and maybe now you are you feel that you are open now okay to new relationships for some of you have, who, have, who are already in a couple or married couples, uh, I have a sense that they're saying the significant breakthrough has to deal with the, a sense of romance coming back into the marriage, some kind of a healing that needed to happen in this marriage. If you have been going in counseling or marriage counseling, uh, you are going to reach an important point of breakthrough. So this is good positive news for uh, you. Something that you have been praying for, 
asking for, applying for will be granted to you. I get a sense that maybe some funds could be approved, could be about a mortgage that is being uh, approved, a scholarship, financial aid. Um, so it has to deal with money, something that you either applied for it because you had to go through an application process or, or through some kind of a legal process to get it. Finally, it's uh, yours. People are going to start to feel very generous toward you. They may feel generous toward you by giving you a lot of compliments, paying attention uh, to you, but you may also be receiving gifts of uh, cash or other forms of gifts. But people, I get the sense that they are going to feel very giving toward you. For some of you, this is some kind of a job contract. You could be negotiating some kind of a job contract and they're saying like, here's how much money we can offer to you at this time. Are you going to take the offer or not? So it could be related to a job contract, a, um, a job uh, offer for some of uh, you. I get a sense that they are talking for many of you Torians to pay attention to this reading, particularly to this card, because it has to deal with something that it's either coming to a full circle after a year, finally you achieve this goal, or Okay, or beginning from this October 2019, going into the next October 2019, you are going to be completing an important cycle, okay, when you are going to receive abundance, well-being, or some kind of a blessing in connection to your love life. So for some of you, either you are consolidating a relationship, um, you could be thinking about proposing to somebody, you could be the one being proposed to. You could be receiving an invitation to uh, somebody else's engagement. Marriage could be a cousin that gets engaged or married at this time, a family member, a child, a grandchild. And I'm not saying that the engagement is going to happen right away, but there's going to be news of that to, ha to happen, kind of save the date kind of a notification. That's the sense that uh, I have. For those of you who have been, um, you had some kind of a goal in mind. Either you have working to save money because you wanted to buy a piece of land or a property. So now you're going to feel like I have the finances in order. So now I'm going to be looking into, you know, real estate and looking into buying a home or properties. Or maybe you have enough money now and now you're going to be investing that money into expanding a business that you may uh, have. But for some reason, I also get a sense that you are going to, some of you could be thinking about traveling uh, now and how now you have the means, the opportunity, uh, the timing is right and you are going to be planning for some kind of a luxury experience or to travel, it feels like you're going to be looking into, okay, uh, I work very hard, how can I reward myself uh, now? The next card that you have is the Nine of Pentacles. To me, it means both sides of generosity, giving and receiving, hospitality, uh, okay? Um, it also means something to support your soul, being happy, happiness, fulfillment, feeling satisfied and fulfilled, emotional abundance, uh, prosperity, prosperity, wish fulfillment. And to me personally, it also means pampering yourself. Some of you are really going to enjoy uh, this transition of seasons, okay? Because in many parts of the world, the seasons are, uh, tra are transitioning. And I have a sense that some of you are going to feel like now you are going to rebuild your immune system, you are going to rebuild your energy uh, back up, or you are going to rebuild your emotional uh, energy right back up. You are going to be looking at where is it that you need more balance. If you have been working so hard, you're going to feel like now it's time for me to relax, take, take a few days off, or maybe not to work so uh, hard. Some of you are going to be going for like a spa treatment, a facial, 
You could be looking into other ways to enhance your beauty, whether it is through natural ways to enhance your beauty, makeup, cosmetic procedures. Some of you have been going through a lot. And I have a sense that now, if you are a Taurus who uh, maybe this eclipses or for whatever other planetary movements, you felt that your health was affected or your energy level. Now it feels that like you are not only recuperating, but you feel much better. You feel better in your body. You feel better in your soul and you feel free. I have this sense that throughout this reading, I get a sense that the actions that you need to take, okay, to put in order so that you can regain your sense of freedom. What freedom means to you, it's very personal to you. Could be about freedom in love, freedom at work, legal freedom, uh, could be in, in an immigration related uh, sense. You want to have the freedom to travel and, and live everywhere in the world uh, where you uh, want to. If this is you, I get a sense that they are encouraging you to maybe this is the right time for you to start to apply for some kind of a visa, a work number, an immigration related uh, process. Something for you will come into a full term in about nine months. Uh, okay, so a lot of things that you could be initiating now, you are going to start to see results in approximately the next nine months. Okay, because this kind of feels like a process. You may be in the process of um, recuperating from surgery. You may be in the process of, and then in nine months, you completely feel transformed. You see the results now, but maybe nine months from now is going to be even uh, better. If you start a business uh, now, great success, you know, in the next nine uh, months, a relationship, a marriage that may begin at this uh, time. But I also get to sense that sometimes you need to take some time off uh, just to be with your uh, thoughts. There's also happiness in finally uh, being alone and having your own uh, space. I have a sense that a lot of Victorians are going to feel that now it's time for you to give. Maybe you feel the emotional need to feel reconnected to people in your life, to make new friends. I have a sense that you are also going to be drawn to host some kind of a party, to host some kind of a gathering, or to host some kind of an event. I have a sense that there's going to be a lot of activity also related to your work, meetings, conferences, a lot of communication. For some reason, you're going to be, there's going to be a lot of communication back and forth. Uh, for you in um, uh, uh, October. And there's going to be a certain sense of you sharing, you sharing the news, receiving news, you sharing information and knowledge, receiving news and knowledge. It could be related to courses, classes, or trainings of some kind in uh, October. But again, they're saying, take a time, take your time, take a moment to simply realize how full life can uh, be. The next card that you have is the Seven of Clubs. The meaning of the card, this is a woman dreaming about a bee and a cobra. So the meaning of the card is satisfaction and a time of peace. Not only you will make it to the finish line, but you are also going to pass it with success. So sometimes the fullness of life is measured by this um, peaceful feeling, okay? This is another way to measure the fullness of life. Fullness of life is not necessarily, I have, oh, you know, I have a beautiful home, I have a beautiful car, I have beautiful uh, children. You know, sometimes the fullness of life is, life is how much peace, love, and joy you have in your uh, heart. So, Understand that for those of you who, who always want to keep things like this, everything running smooth and fine in your life, you are only fooling yourself because energy moves all the time. Nothing stays the same. For those of you who feel trapped or stuck in some kind of a negative cycle of uh, events, negative energies, are again, you are going to be a fool thinking that this is it for you. Nothing is ever going to get better because again, energy moves and things 
can get uh, better. Okay, so it's very important that you don't contribute to that negative cycle with your negative thoughts. So for those of you Torians who have been stuck into some kind of a negative circumstance or negative energies, something will change for the uh, for the uh, better. For those of you Torians who are okay and you would like to keep this balance in your uh, life, it's very important that in October, okay, you avoid envy you avoid resentment, particularly envy and resentment toward third parties, and try to iron out any misunderstandings or any misconceptions. So I get a sense that your communication is going uh, to change. You are going to be making important decisions about people who you're going to open your heart um, to, people who are, you are going to allow in your life. Uh, you are going to choose, in other words, I get a sense that for some of you, he has to deal with the choice of a partner. And it could be in a romantic sense. Maybe some of you are single, you are dreaming about uh, having a partner, a sexual partner, a romantic partner, uh, a spouse. I also get the sense that some of you could be having some very vivid dreams, disturbing dreams, uh, or having some other kind of a sleep-related uh, issue. It is, I get the sense that you are going to put yourself in some kind of circumstances where you are going to mingle with other singles. So this could be online dating, you could be asking your friends to set you up with other singles. You could be going to singles events like singles for dancing or like, um, I don't know what they're called, uh, like speed dating. I get a sense of that for some of you. And I also get the sense that for other Torians, this could be you, okay, and feeling a little bit, dis uh, a little bit uh, disturbed, so to speak, in your dreams. Because I have a sense that some of you could be afraid of um, lasting after someone. So I don't even know, you know, the exact use of that word because it didn't came from me, but they're talking about last. And for some of you, maybe you are already in a relationship or a marriage and you're going to feel like, so what are these feelings that I have for this other person? Uh, now for this other woman or for this other guy. So for some of you, you're going, you may find yourself in a situation where uh, you're going to sense a certain attraction with another person with whom you're not necessarily linked uh, to them, uh, partners to them or married um, uh, to them. So careful here uh, with uh, what choices. Uh, are you going uh, to make? So I hope that this is making uh, sense um, to you. Please do leave me a comment down here below. And if you'd like to know more, I have already uploaded a whole new reading for you. It is available through Vimeo for download and purchase. The link for the Vimeo videos is down here below in the show more description box. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and to turn on the notification bell. Remember the October special offer, free Reiki sessions for $150. I'll go to my website, www.amalightworker.com, and email me at amalightworker at gmail.com. Thank you so much, and I will reconnect with you in the next video. Bye.